Hello guys and, and welcome to Witchcraft Criminal History. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Well, today we're doing another Oracle video. Yay! And this is my my last deck from reviewing for um the the Oracle um deck package where I was pick, well, what I picked up today. And this one is on the Fairy Forest by Lucy Cavendish. If you see one of my previous video, I've got one of her decks already, which was Blessed Bee, which I really, really love, and I find it quite easy to read. This one is definitely, you know, mix match, but it's still a beautiful deck, and I'm hoping to, you know, incorporate this with the other ones. All right, the back of the box looks like this. All right, let's have a look at it. It comes with this beautiful book. And in the book, it's the same old, same old what you usually have with with oracle decks, or tarot for that matter. Well, most tarot. I got one tarot, the book's not really that good. Alright, on the back of the cards, it looks like this. And you got a you got a witch, you got a black cat, you got an elf. I'm not quite sure if that's an elf, a goblin, a fairy, a pixie. I don't think it's a leprechaun. <laughs> And you got the fairy mushrooms and the tree. Yes, it's very, very pretty and a bit busy, but apart from that, it's really, really good. I've heard of people who have this deck who like to chop the borders off. Um, I don't believe in chopping borders off, but that's just me because I believe you cannot damage the deck. If it comes that way, it has to stay that way. It was bad juju. So, so yeah, and also I don't see the big deal about borders either, so it doesn't really bother me anyway. Alright, let's have a look at the cards. Alright. Frigga, readiness, bounty, plenty. The Seagull Keeper, Symbols, Signs and Messages. Marie Full One, Compassion, Release, Relief. The Solitary, Dedication, Self Love. Focus. Durii. Healer. Nourishment. Nature. Elf struck. Enchanted. Beguiled. Espelled. Sulkin, recognition, family, family kin kinship. This one definitely, you know, looks like, you know, a family. It's a family unit and it represents to me family. Especially, you know, mum, dad and the kids. I love this little kid, Danny. He's so cute. Astrid, 
love, fire, sensuality, fertility. Other world, veil, illness, transition. Shapeshifter, transformation, primal wisdom, instinct. Unseely queen, glamour, opulence, hubris. For some reason, when I see that, I, first thing that comes in my mind is a vampire. I don't know why. <laughs> but vampire is the first thing that pops in my mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the golden unicorn, protector, guardian, champion. The Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feasting and Joy. For kind of what represents joy, she doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Isa, stillness, pause, delicacy. Bliss, contentment, satisfaction, security. She who laughs. Humour, perspective, mirth. Initiate, curiosity, open, warm. Ragnarok, destruction, ending, final moment. Elven Touch, Recovery, Comeback, Revival. Oath, Promise, Pledge, Contract. Arwen, Gift, Divine Inspiration, Awakening. Another one kind of looks like a vampire. <laughs> Life Bringer. Establishment, growth, fulfillment. The dreamer, visions, trans, apparition. The king of the dark wood elves, authority, credibility, status. The Hedgewitch, Herb Wisdom, Secret, Hidden hidden Love. Fairy Godmother, Revelation, Discovery, Epiphany. Prayer, abundance, peace, contentment. The green witch, fresh, new spring. The weaver, fight, destiny, weird. The Wizard, Ruined King, Wise One, Counselor. The Ancient, Elder, Experience, Lessons. Vulva, Prophecy, Guidance, Direction. Salu, fertility, health, energy. The Maybon, 
Shining Hope Future. Affiling, Nobility, Grace, Gratitude. Cunning Woman, Silent, Observant, Willy. Queen of the Darkwood Elves. Premonition. Foreshadowing. Mystery. Sorceress. Rituals. Power. Will. Before the gathering, celebration, anticipation, event. The Green Man, initiative, fertilization, action. The Wild Hunt, Excitement, Frenzy, Journey, Their Elf Queen, Introverted, Burden, Responsibility, The Trickster, Deceit, Betrayal, Guile, They're very known. Planning, patience, cooperation. Blood month. Sacrifice, offerings, decisions. Alright, that's the... The fairy forest. I know a lot of people have said that there's always a dark card in decks in regards to um, Lucy Cavendish. But, however, you can't have light without dark, so dark is very, very important. And it's a way you interpret it as well. So, you know, for example... With that last card, you know, Blood Mouth, you know, sacrifice offering decisions, you know, could mean that um, you might have to sacrifice something for what you need. So, in other words, um, like offer sacrifice something for your needs. So like, for example, um, if you got a child and, for example, you have your eyes set on some nice shoes. Some really, really nice, pretty shoes. Very, very pretty. And let's just say this is really elite and it's got a nice piece, pretty necklace to match with the shoes. And you were saving up for it. You were saving then something happens, like something happens to your child, the child needs dental work, for example, or the child falls very ill, and all that money you're saving for the shoes and the necklace, you have to sacrifice that money for your child. So that's pretty much what that means. So it's not really all doom and gloom. I said, you can't have light without dark, and you can't have dark without light. I will be doing um, a reading for each month. Usually at the end of each month, I'll be doing a reading for the upcoming month. And I will be, you know, doing, you know, individual readings. 
I also offer um, private reading, so if you want a private reading, my Etsy channel is down below. Please feel free to go over there and please feel free to come over there and book a, um, a private session with me. And I will definitely give you guys a reading with Oracle cards. Because I'm actually very, very good at it. And some things, you know, which I can get, it's actually very, very scary how accurate it was. Like, I remember one time a while back, it was just tarot, not to Oracle. I was doing, you know, a little bit of fun with it. And... One of my fellow doormates was decided to want to have some amusement and he asked me to do him a reading. I did him a reading. To say the least, he got something a little bit too shocking and he quickly got up and ran off. He apparently didn't want to see me much afterwards. <laughs> you might ask me, oh, what did you say to him? Well, his cards pretty much said, and everyone was agreeing with me, including himself, that he was going to lose all of his money on girls and alcohol. <laughs> I wasn't joking. Yeah, he didn't want to lose all his money to get girls and alcohol, but he said he definitely could see him losing money to girls and alcohol. <laughs> But I have, you know, also predicted other things, like I had another student, fellow student, and a card told me that they had a bad court action, that it was something to do with legal stuff, and I said, it didn't go well for you, it didn't go well, it was bad. This guy looked like a stun mullet, because apparently when you go for, you know, scholarships especially in for international countries you have to pretty much apply for it and you would have to go pretty much for legal hoops and he tried to get into a university over in the united states but he was declined and you know he was stunned like going how the hell did you know that <laughs> you know which is really really spooky but I've also seen things as well, you know, regarding to myself. Things that I didn't even know. Like I know one time my mum was in debt with me. Lent her some money. I had no idea when my mum was going to pay me my money back. I didn't know. To tell you the truth, I didn't really care. She's my mum. And my can't said... You're getting money from your family. You know, family's going to give you money. You know what? Uh -huh. I believe it when I say it. A couple of days later, there was money, you know, put in my account. And when I went to investigate it, it came from my mum. I'm like going, oh, weird. And it's like with our readings as well. You know, managed to do with oracles. That, um, like I did one this week, which one that said that sadness is going to pass. You've been going through a lot of sadness, a lot of difficulties, but this week it's going to pass. It's going to go. It's going to get better. You're sad now, but you're going to be happy at the end of the week. I'm going, I hope so. I've been having a bad time. And sure enough, yay, I've had a lot of difficulties. And then, yay! And same with the reading what I did for myself prior to that. And this was mainly to do one tarot deck, not tarot deck, oracle deck, sorry. And this one is very, very hard to read. For some reason, for this time, it didn't really do well with other decks. I don't know why. But when I was doing it through the Osset. It also the Egyptian deck. 
they all connected with each other. And they said it's going to be a slow victory, but you're going to get there. You're going to pass it. Because I was looking out the car, going, all right, where's Seth? <laughs> He's always coming here, where's Seth? Seth was nowhere to be seen. It's like, yay, no Seth. <laughs> Because for over a month, he was set, 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 set. I'm like, quick, go away, set. <laughs> go to another reading. Go to another reading. Go to a monthly reading. <laughs> so to say the least, I'm very much, you know, quite accurate. I was even very accurate with my mum because I did a reading for my mum. She said I was about 85% accurate. I don't know what she asked. She refused to tell me. She said, you're not supposed to know. And I went, oh, I was curious. <laughs> and I, kind of, I was curious. And she said, you were 85% right. 15% wrong. <laughs> but anyway, if you want a private reading, my Etsy page is down below, and I'll be more than happy to give you a reading. So if you like this channel, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and blessed be.